Hi guys, we're talking about uh, J-pop and or J-rock this week, and kind of actually talking about the bands instead of openings and endings. And for me, I think there's like three groups I want to talk about. For starters, uh, I really like the Pillows. Um, I don't have their actual CDs. I have uh, some of the Fooly Cooly soundtracks. But since they did the large majority of the Fooly Cooly music, having a Fooly Cooly soundtrack is pretty much like having a Pillows album. Um, they just have really good music. Uh, everyone knows Fooly Cooly, and I'm sure pretty much everyone knows the Pillows by extension, but I just really like their stuff. It's fun to listen to. It's well done. And I would not mind seeing them in concert. They come to the States every now and then, so... And for a band that's not together anymore, uh, Supercar. Um, I first heard about them when they, they had a song in Eureka 7. It wasn't an opening or ending, it was like an insert song that they played in the middle of it, like in the middle of an episode or something when a, something cool was happening, basically. Uh, and I, I liked the song. And then... I saw the movie Ping Pong, which, if you don't know what it is, it's a Japanese live-action movie, but it's about high school ping pong players. There was a manga that I haven't read, but the movie's pretty good. It won some awards. I don't know if it's available instantly on Netflix, but when I did see it, I got the DVD off Netflix, so good stuff to check it out, but the band Supercar, again, they're a good uh, rock band. You should check them out. Um, I enjoy their music. Uh, it's it's rock music, but it also it's kind of laid back rock music sometimes too. So I don't know. I like it. I like all kinds of music. And for the third one, <laughs> kind of a guilty pleasure, but I will admit it. I kind of like Hatsune Miku. Those who don't know, there's this computer program called Vocaloid that literally a computerly generates singing voices. Um, it's a Japanese program. I don't know if they have an equivalent in English or a, as good of an equivalent one in English to say because honestly, with a lot of it, when you're listening to it, you wouldn't know it's not an actual human voice, that it's 100% computer-generated voice. And they created characters around the few different voices on this program, and one of them that became really popular is named Hatsune Miku. And... Obviously, Miku doesn't exist, but different artists would, like, use the program, and they put the voices in, so they'd have, like, this band featuring Miku and stuff. But eventually, like, they made music just for her, and you could see it on YouTube. If you search Hatsune Miku live, they actually have live concerts for this fictional electronic voice character. And what they actually do is they animated this character, and they project her image onto like this glass screen thing that's like you can see through it it's like clear glass so it looks like there's an anime character up on stage singing and dancing and I would so not mind seeing that in concert I think that'd be really cool but it is it's kind of silly and goofy so it is a little bit of a guilty pleasure but yeah that's it for me uh, things you check out things I like are the pillows supercar and Hatsune Miku.